Now to our ABC 7 I team investigation into the problems surrounding the DC Fire Department. Now, hours ago, the department issued a new report after a DC police officer who was injured in a crash in the district had to be transported to the hospital by a crew from Prince George's County. Now, a report reveals seven DC Fire and EMS employees face disciplinary action. This comes as the firefighters are preparing to take a new confidence vote Monday against Chief Kenneth Ellerby. And tonight, the Fire and EMS Union and Police Union are out outraged over the findings of this report. Jay Korf has been following the story all along. He's live with new reaction. New at 11. Jay. Allison, tonight the head of the police union called on Chief Kenneth Ellerby and his boss, Deputy Mayor Paul Quander, to step down. We've now seen how they perform under pressure, and it's not good. But this is public safety. This isn't public relations. It is time for them to go. Police union leader Christopher Bauman is outraged after reading the report on the D.C. fire and EMS response time scandal. Earlier this month, a police motorcycle officer was seriously injured on the job, the victim of a hit and run. But there weren't any ambulances available. So one from adjoining Prince George's County picked up the officer nearly 20 minutes after the call came out. This is not supposed to happen. It's not 1955 in some rural county. This is the nation's capital. The report's author, Deputy Mayor Paul Quander, says three ambulances were improperly out of service that night. He blames seven people, four medics, two firefighters, and a fire captain for essentially checking out while on the job. They could face disciplinary action. We had um, an instance where individuals did not follow protocol, did not follow procedures, did not follow the rules. But fire and EMS union leaders insist the mistakes made on that night were systemic in nature and that Chief Kenneth Ellerby is also at fault. Bauman says pointing the finger at the lowest level employees shows an embarrassing lack of leadership. We need to move on to people that will take responsibility, that will be accountable. ABC 7 News has been digging deeper into this and other problems plaguing the fire department, including allegations of harassment at the training academy and deteriorating fire equipment that is not being replaced quickly enough. The department's destroyed right now. A number of firefighters have come forward to warn the public that these issues are impacting public safety, including Robert Alvarado, who has butted heads with and been disciplined by Ellerby in the past. The apparatus fleet is in complete disarray. If we had another terrorist attack on the District of Columbia, we are not prepared to handle it. Paul Quander is strongly challenging that assertion. He told us standard union management angst is at the heart of these complaints. He continues to fully support Chief Ellerby. I believe the leadership of this agency is very good and committed. Are there bumps? Yes, but they do the job. Deputy Mayor Quander also implemented a number of safeguards just recently to prevent another ambulance shortage. One of his remedies, when the number of available ambulances dips below five, high-ranking officials will be alerted, they'll be called, and they'll have to figure out how to get more ambulances back on the street. Reporting live in the newsroom, Jay Korf, ABC 7 News.